Good evening, YouTubers, fellow reloaders, and everything in between all the other stuff I usually say. Reloading Bench, back with you this evening on this cold garage evening with a little tea to warm me up. Tonight's project night, and I have to say, I'm quite, uh, quite disappointed with uh, Federal Express and their timeliness and uh, I'll write it off to the busy holiday season I was uh, taking advantage of uh, some of the pre Black Friday I guess uh, the month of November is the whole month is now Black Friday <clears throat> every day is Black Friday and then every day this week is Cyber Monday so I ordered some stuff on the 24th um, which was about, uh, let's see, a week ago. And uh, whatever night that was or day that was, uh, this was, a, a, a uh, again, not so much a daily deal as it was a uh, you know pre-Black Friday or whatever you want to call it. Who cares? Some shit that was on sale. Anyway, I ordered it. And uh, the first, uh, after a delivery, uh, or at least invoice and delivery, uh, confirmation emails supposed to arrive on Saturday Saturday comes and goes FedEx delivers on Sundays too. S Sunday comes and goes look on the uh, update oh it's, so it's gonna be Monday the 30th oh okay that's cool or Monday the 29th rather oh okay cool Monday comes and goes and I'm like checking the porch at night because FedEx always delivers uh, late at night for us same as UPS we're never early on the we're not on the day run. We're on the night run. Anyway, uh, Monday comes and goes. Nothing. I check uh, the, the uh, update. Then it went from uh, scheduled delivery slash out for delivery to um, pending delivery notification or pending delivery update or whatever it was. And then today it was delivered at uh, about 530. It was dark. Um, no bell. Just left on the porch. Uh, the box doesn't look damaged, which is good because if you, it's heavy. And uh, again, when I think about the efficiency of uh, delivery as compared to how fast the gang at Extreme was with less than 48 hours from uh, order to showing up on my doorstep, um, this was an order from Brownells, I think it was. No, Cabela's. Sorry, don't mean to bash Brownell. Cabela's. And uh, again, if you remember, I was ecstatic about paying $15 for one of the red uh, extreme cases. And I saw, and both of these packages are kind of related, so we'll start with this one. <clears throat> it says, do not open with knife. So let me get my knife. So uh, this was, again, a, uh, a Black Friday-ish. And this was half off. So these are more of the same because I'm a firm believer uh, you can never have too much storage. I think it's comical that they have this little tiny uh, wrap, bubble wrap, around the, uh, around the ammo can. So if I can figure out how to get the form-fitting bubble wrap off. This is a uh, another made in China, I'm sure. Let's see. Bass Pro, uh, yeah, made in China. Made in China for Bass Pro. So I think we don't need to open these up because they're more of the same. So let me get some space on the bench. Space on the bench. Ooh, ah. And the reason I decided to get these was they were ten dollars each as opposed to fifteen, so you know that's a thirty percent savings off the discounted price. Now they're the boring OD green, but they're kind of you know. Cabela's, so it's it's got some it's got some uh, flavor to it. Let, let's put it that way. It's got flavor to it, and the reason 
I was interested in going down this path was when I add up the cost of these, I ordered three, so that's $30 plus $5 shipping. So for $35, three Cabela's cans. All right, not bad. They'll go to good use. So now, while I was looking online to see how good justification for how good the price was, I stumbled across something, and that's what's in this box, this box that weighs just about nothingness. And this came really quick, so I was kind of waiting on this to do this, because together they are the project. And the cool factor on this, these two items, is this foam. And that kit. And what this foam is is quite cool because when I, if you look for, uh, I believe this is called closed cell and naturally it's a little more challenging. Let's see if I can, might help if I use the knife side of the knife. Let's see if I can not bleed as I find the infinite numbers of tape that this is. Ha! Ah, that's not even the, uh, the opening. Where's the opening? Where's the opening? Alright, we're just going to tear this up. So what was what I thought was kind of cool, and this is like opening a Christmas gift. Too much cellophane. So, here's, here's the dealio. This is, oh, that's too funny. Uh, okay, just like the, the case club people, this is closed cell foam, which is very, very different than, you know, your average foam. So this is high density foam. And the beauty, well, this is actually kind of cool that uh, you get to keep these, or rather. And then uh, I think these two are for uh, a magazine or so. So the idea behind this, this kit, this closed cell foam kit, is to take your standard 50 cal ammo can, insert this in, put your, obviously your foam in the bottom, put your firearm, and you could obviously cut this to uh, whatever height, depending on how custom you want your firearm to be, and this goes on top. Maybe some double-sided 3M tape or something. Or you could just do that or do that. But I will, I will adhere some uh, double-sided tape to that so that um, it, it activates via the lid. Um, so the cool factor is, you know, you put your, your firearm, your pistol, your revolver, a magazine in there, and then... I can line things up and now you've got a unique different kind of cool way to transport and you might say to yourself well gee dude that's freaking great but how am I gonna lock up my uh, you know depending on your state's laws and transportation of firearms you might have to have it in a locked container like we do here in California and that's where this comes in so I saw a, a very comparable configuration, and by that I mean just the ammo can with this kit pre-installed, this locking kit, is $40 plus tax plus shipping. Three of these were $10 plus $5 shipping, $35. And by the way, the deal for these on Cabela's is still on right now as of today, uh, the 30th, Tuesday. 
And this lock kit goes, and that's what tonight's project is. Obviously, after I've warmed up a little bit. This locking kit, let me, is there an easy way to open this without, no, there is not. So this locking kit, and let's see if there's instructions, which I believe there are. Case Club. So if you go out to Case Club, and I own Case Club stuff, and I, again, I love this closed cell foam. Great stuff, uh, very, uh, very hardy. Uh, close the lid and latch the ammo can and mark the center of the hole where the locking hardware will be installed. Try to be exact. Okay, so I would say that uh, the hole is kind of right there on the seam. So I would take a black marker and mark that mark that seam right there because what's going to happen is you're going to drill a hole, or rather I'm going to drill a hole, a 5 16th hole into the can at the center mark, drilling out a smaller guide hole beforehand may be helpful. From the outside of the can, insert the locking stud through the hole. So, this is the locking stud. So what will happen is this, this stud will go into that hole just long enough. Ooh, almost hit the, hit the T. That would have been a terrible accident. Actually, we should double check to make sure that the locking stud, uh-oh. Ooh, the locking stud. Oh, we have to drill out a bigger hole here. These Cabela, these Cabela holes are too small for the locking stud. It's a good thing I have uh, a mechanism to do that. So, um, uh, on the inside of the can, put the neoprene washer. And then put the nut over the washer of the locking thread, followed by the smaller washer, and then the nylon nut. Tighten assembly with wrench, being aware that the round side of the locking stud may have sharp edges. The round side of the locking stud. So this apparently has sharp edges. Uh, for ammo cans with large holes, put the large washer between the ammo can and, la and la I think this is for the 30 cal uh, cans. And if you finish the assembly and find the lock stud is not centered, simply file or drill the ammo can's latch hole to be larger until everything fits, which is what we will need to do because this hole does not fit. So what I am going to do show you what I'm going to do. Let me get the sharp implements out of the way so I do not bleed unnecessarily. So I will take, uh, where do I have it? In my drill kit. I forget what this is called, but I have a few of them. These things titanium bits that uh, will take a small hole and make it a little bit bigger. In fact, this is probably the one I would use. Uh, or maybe, no. Or maybe this one. I don't know. I think either one. I'll try this one first. So what I'll do is I will take this, I think it's called a step bit. Uh, I could be wrong, so don't quote me. I will take a step bit, and this hole right now looks to be uh, 7 sixteenths, and uh, I'm guessing it needs to be uh, half an inch because it is not big enough right now. Yes. So, again, uh, I'm not going to do this on film because I will totally F it up. 
and uh, I'm under pressure with the film and the T. So what I will do is what I just said I would do. I will take this bit. I will drill that a little wider so that this passes through. So that, uh, and I'll do the same thing. Uh, hopefully I won't have to for this front when I mark where that is. So this will go like that and then it'll come over and latch and then you can put a lock through that. So now you would have a locking container for your firearms. All right, so I'm going to say back in, back in a bit because there's just not enough room on my bench with the camera. Uh, I would bump something. And uh, I don't need to F this up and ruin the camera and hit the floor and blah, 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 blah. So I will be back and I will tell you how successful, I will show you how successful I was. Back in a bit. If I figured out a solution, I will do each step and then show you where I'm at in the step. So this first step was to take a marker and center it, which I did. And there's my hole that I will now drill a 5 16th hole in that you will not see until I'm done drilling the hole. So, back in a bit. Here's my reasonably roundish hole that's in the somewhat correct position. I will uh, test fit this. Uh, I also plan to glue that inner lip to keep it from rusting. A little bit of a rust inhibitor. So we will do a little bit of a test fit here. So I'm not going to lock it in, but you get the idea. And then this washer is for a 30 cal can, which doesn't have, I think it has a different, uh, different set of uh, lips. It needs a bigger Needs a bigger thing. Okay. So, this will definitely need to be drilled, enlarged. How's that? So here's the, here's the idea. So this is wiggling, so it's still a little, uh, okay, so it's close to being on target. So we will make that hole bigger back in a few. And here is the dry fit, still uh, wiggly, because I'm going to, there's my hole, I'm going to uh, blue that so it doesn't rust. And then once I blue in here, I will tighten this up, and then uh, I will show you the final, the final, final. When it's tight, hopefully it will fit, we'll find out. Might be close. Good enough for a $10 container. Back in a bit. Now have cold blued metal. Same thing on this side so that uh, at least it will inhibit rust better than exposed metal. Now I will put this together and see if the puzzle works. Ooh, it's cold up in here to the point where my nose is running and I've got a, a jacket on or at least a vest. There it is. Finito. Uh, I will get a lock in a, in a minute. So, again, cold blued, cold blued, screwed in tight. There it is. I don't know if doing it left handed is easy. I'm right handed, so I would do this with my right hand. All right, so now let's put it to use. I will blow this out first to get rid of all the shards of killer or whatever. Be right back. We can lower the camera since we don't need uh, giant boxes. It's been a long journey. I'm out of tea almost. Ah, now I'm out of tea. Finished product. So I apologize for the less than manly lock, but this is all I have at the moment. So, um, I'm going to remove this lock, 
and I'm going to shake this. And there's other than this moving around. There's nothing, nothing jumbling around because we have a firearm and we have this pad securely adhered. Might as well leave this out for right now. But uh, as you can see, there's a magazine, there's a magazine, there's a magazine, there's a magazine. So you can have four magazines, uh, five, one, two, three, no, four. That's common core math for you, public school. Two, three, four. So uh, two mags per per weapon. I guess it doesn't matter which way they go in. And uh, this is a full-size five-inch. And uh, that seats. I can get it down a little bit lower. And... Uh, Again, that's even with there, and we'll do our little top seal. I call that a win. I call a lot of things a win. That's kind of cool. So $5. That was the cost of this lock kit. $5. And before I forget, because I'm sure somebody will ask, this little silver lock is called the Case Club Ammo Can Lock, L-O-C. And that was about five dollars, I think, four ninety nine. The cost of this uh, can was ten dollars, and the cost of this uh, sealed, closed seal foam, I think it's called closed seal foam. I want to say that something like that. Uh, very high dense, you know, glossy high dense. So if you put water on it, water just beads. Whereas if you put water on this foam, it will. This foam it will absorb. So. Um, and I think it's probably a good idea to leave some of these in there as well. But uh, I think that's a cool, different way of taking something to the range. And you can do that with, you know, if I wanted to pull this out uh, or buy another one of these for $5 because I've got plenty of cans. You know, make one for ammo, make one for, for, the, uh, for the firearm. So, again... Uh, I'm going to call that a win. That, uh, that came out nice. Thank you, Cabela's. Happy holidays. $10 can. Again, these are still on sale as of tonight, uh, the 30th of November. And uh, this kit, so Cabela's. And uh, these were on the rainforest. Five bucks for this locking kit. And I think this was $14.99, so $15. So uh, what do we have total? $15, $20, $30. Uh, and it was five dollars shipping for three. So I'm gonna say thirty-two dollars for this locking ammo can solution that uh, offers a new take on uh, transporting something you want locked up. Take care, folks.